Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Honestly, August went by so fast and I just can't believe that it's that time of the month to set up a new theme for my bullet journal. So in today's video, we will be setting up my bullet journal for September 2024. And now, without further ado, let's start planning. But before that, let's unbox these two boxes of acrylic markers that were kindly gifted to me by Artex. Each box comes with 60 beautiful colors and these two boxes makes it 120 acrylic markers. The markers are water-based and they have a brush tip for a much more flexible application. I'm honestly really excited to use these and thank you so much to Artex for kindly gifting them to me. So now, let's set up my cover page for September. And the theme that I'm going for this month is a summer in the countryside kind of theme that is inspired by Notebook Therapy's Summer in Italy collection. I fell so in love with this collection when I first lay my eyes on them and I knew I had to make a theme out of it. So for my cover page, I made a cutout window which is I guess my first time doing so, it was kind of nerve-wracking to cut the page but it felt great after the cutting was done because I felt like I got to try something new in my bullet journal. So yeah, I made the window to make it look like I am looking out of the window and seeing a very beautiful scenery of the countryside which I will be painting with my acrylic markers. So after the window is done, I just colored the window edges with a pale pastel yellow and then I flipped to the next page for the painting. So the painting was actually inspired by the illustrations of one of the washi tapes in the Summer in Italy collection. The washi tape features a flowing landscape of the countryside with farms and trees and beautiful little cottage houses and I thought it would be a beautiful and perfect painting for the cover page. So after the painting is done, I just use my glue tape to glue the pages together and ta-da, my cutout window with a beautiful countryside view is done. But I still have a little more decoration to do, so I'm just going to paint some lemons which are also inspired by the Summer in Italy collection. So as you can see here, I'm just drawing the lemons that had a pretty blue ribbon on top at the corners of the page. And then I just wrote the word September in a two-tone lettering. And lastly, to complete the spread, I'm finishing it off with drawing a line border and adding the square tile pattern washi stickers at the corners. And that's it for my cover page. I'm so happy with how the cover page turned out. And now, let's set up my monthly log, which is the overview of the entire month. So, as usual, I have my title, this month at the top, and a calendar beneath the title. There is not much illustrations drawn on this page as I wanted to keep it a bit more simple, so I just decorated the page with some washi tape and washi stickers from the Suki Summer in Italy collection. And I just have to say that the illustrations of the washi stickers are just so pretty and I think they fitted very well with the theme. Mm, honestly, I really love how this monthly log turned out too and I guess that's it for my monthly log and cover page for September 2024. And moving on to the next two pages are my mood tracker and habit tracker for the month. So as usual, the left page is going to be my mood tracker and the right page is going to be my habit tracker. So for my mood tracker, I'm bringing back my circular mood tracker which I haven't been using for a few months now and there are actually 30 segments for all the 30 days of the month for this mood tracker and I'm just going to color in each segment with different colors according to my mood. And in the middle of the circular mood tracker, I'm drawing the lemons with the blue ribbons that you saw in the cover page. And beside the tracker, I drew in two extra flowers so that the page doesn't look too empty. And at the very bottom, I just made a key of the different colors for the different moods.
And now that we have finished setting up my mood tracker, let's set up my habit tracker. So for this month's habit tracker, I'm using the individual habit trackers and I have six of them for this month where I'll be tracking habits like taking vitamins, working out, doing my skincare routine, flossing, hydrating, and watering the plants. And to decorate the page, I just use the washi stickers again from the collection and I guess that's it. And now, flipping over to the next page is going to be my trusty budget tracker that helps me to keep track of both my income and expenses for the month. So, as usual, I have a table with four columns and each column will represent the date, the details, the plus sign is for income and the minus sign is for expenses. And to decorate the page, I once again use the washi tapes and washi stickers from the collection. And um, if you're also a cottage core girly who likes this collection too, feel free to use my discount code Looting Studio 10 for a 10% discount. And alright now, where are we? Ah uh, yes, the brain dump page. So for this month's brain dump page, I decided to bring back this letter style decoration that I always do back in the days. So I'm just using a pale yellow scrapbooking paper that coincidentally matches the yellow color in this theme and then I insert a craft paper as the letter and just decorate it with the row of washi stamps and some washi stickers. And now, the last spread that I'm going to show you all today is my first weekly spread of the month. So first, I decorated the top and bottom of the pages with this yellow lemon washi tape and then I make my weekly spread as usual by drawing 7 boxes for all the 7 days of the week, Monday to Sunday. And at the bottom right corner of each of the boxes, I just drew a lemon with my acrylic markers and later on, I'll just write down the dates. Mm, I think there's nothing much more to say about this weekly spread so i guess that's it for my first weekly spread of the month and if you're also interested in checking out my other weekly spreads and maybe occasionally a photo dump be sure to follow my instagram at looting studio And now, here's the final flip through of my bullet journal setup for September 2024. Overall, I'm really happy with how the theme turned out and I had so much fun working with the acrylic markers from Artex. So, since I'm loving the acrylic markers so much, I decided to collaborate with Artex for a giveaway where two lucky winners can win the acrylic markers too. So please remember to read the giveaway rules and details in the description box below if you would like to join. Good luck to everyone and thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next video.